Okay, GP reporting. Day after a barometric pressure day, do you have migraines? I have migraines. Say, I, I really think they're affected by barometric pressure. So, here's the point of this GP report. For this Green for GP day, HR2311, Care GP, uh, do so many hash tags, I think I've done them now. So, so, if you have a day like yesterday, we had in the GP reporting this atmosphere, do you think barometric pressure report pressure affects motility disorders? Wouldn't you think it would? I think it would. I'd love to know other people's opinions about how there are certain days that are just never ending. And there's more than one person affected. It's just like one of those days there's so many things going on in the world. And then your body, if your body's having problems, wouldn't barometric pressure affect that? I would think it would. It affects migraines. So why wouldn't it affect motility disorders? So yeah, so that's the GP reporting focus for today. Barometric pressure, motility disorders, the effects it has on it. Because they, your stomach's like your second brain. So if your head is affected by barometric pressure and it causes triggers, wouldn't your motility disorder also there in be affected? And if your endorphins are all messed up in your gut and you're paralyzed on top of it, I think you'd be like, Warning, nerves alert for your gut. So yeah, have a blessed day.